Welcome to Track Time by Race Grooves. Today I'm going to be using this Drag Race Action Set. It's over 10 years old. It came out around 2005, I believe. It comes with one car, 30 feet of track. It has a start gate and a finish line flag. The car that came with it was Roger Dodger. On the back, you can see it set up. It has a two-lane gravity start. Two lanes coming down into the finish line flag with a couple pieces of track for runoff at the end. When it's all set up and done, it's about 17 feet long. I attached the clamp to my track stand and I noticed a problem. You know what? When I put the starting gate on it, it's practically flat. The cars don't even want to roll out. So I decided to use a track builder clamp because it has that one angled spot. Now the car is going to get going real fast. I'm racing 32 cars today. 32 cars came out of this 2016 K case. I unboxed it on my Race Crews YouTube channel. Here's all the cars I picked. Well, maybe I should say models because there's trucks in there and we're even doing a motorcycle today and when we're all done let's go ahead and race it up against that Roger Dodger that came with the set I'm all set up and ready to go this race is going to be one and done the racers get one chance to win if they don't win they're out up first fast gassing against bone speeder The ones that are out, I'm gonna put over here and those who advance will be in front of the finish line. The finish line has these two triggers that hang down and there's like these little shelves on each of them. The checker flag also has two arms and that's how you set it up. In white, the 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car and the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Well, those were two very long names. Sesto Elemento advances. I was going to race the Toyota off-road truck up against the Silverado, but the off-road truck doesn't want to stay in the start gate. Instead, we'll have the Chevy Silverado up against Paradox. Paradox is out and the Chevy Silverado advances. Supervolt is in the far lane and you probably recognize Time of Taxi. It was in that video game Need for Speed. Hey, HW Papa Wheelie has a little advantage. Or is that going to hurt him at the finish line flag? H.W. Papa Wheelie does win, but kind of looks like GT Hunter would have lost anyways. You can see Papa Wheelie's wheels are out in front of GT Hunter's. That means the gold car is still chasing for the gold. Here's another gold car, Z-Rod against Double Demon. In red, the Subaru WRX STI against the BMW Z4M Motorsport. I think the BMW came from behind. Let's check it out. The BMW gets the flag. Subaru wins the battle for the intersection, but that's not what counts. Lotus Esprit S1 against the Honda Monkey Z50? Yeah, that's what track time's for. We try all the vehicles, see what works and what doesn't. You never know, it might surprise us. Not only did it stay upright, it made it all the way to the finish line trigger. I think that's the first motorcycle that I've tried for track time. I mainly tried it because it had wide flat wheels and I thought, hey, it might stay upright and sure enough it did. Let me go ahead and reset the finish line. You know what? This finish line is doing a pretty good job. Pretty happy with it so far. Aston Martin Vantage against the 10 Camaro SS. What a great race with an explosive finish. The Aston Martin Vantage gets the checkered flag. Let's do a couple trucks. Turbine Time and Crate Racer.
turbine time advances, but let's take a look at Crate Racer. Crate Racer is a fun Hot Wheel, but if you look at the engine, look, you can see how it rocks back and forth. That's because on one of the tires, you can see this little lever, and when that lever spins around, it hits a gear, and that gear causes the engine to rock back and forth. Watch, maybe you can see it better this time. There you go, see the wiggle wiggle? How about a couple older real cars, the 76 Greenwood Corvette and the 65 Chevy Impala. How about a couple Ford Torinos, the 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport and the 69 Ford Torino Talladega. Another gold car, Monta Racer against the Silver Chrome Rev Rod. A very good race. They were neck and neck all the way down, all the way to the finish line. Rev Rod gets the flag, but he gets taken out by the trigger. Then wipes out all over the place. It's time for Gazella GT and Formulator. Another very tight race with Formulator saying see you later to the Gazella GT. It's F1 Racer and Night Shifter. F1 Racer clearly won. It's so low profile it just goes right underneath the trigger. F1 Racer will advance. I've done 15 races for 30 cars. Here's the last two. 15 Dodge Charger SRT and the 2005 Ford Mustang. Since we're not doing loops, let's lower the splitter for speed. Well, I guess it didn't help. The 15 Dodge Charger SRT is the last one to make it. The races will continue after this break. Here are the remaining 16 cars and their matchups. We will start with the left side. It's the 15 Dodge Charger SRT against the F1 Racer. That time he hit the trigger. F1 Racer continues. Formulator and the 76 Greenwood Corvette. Formulator gets the checkered flag as the Greenwood Corvette trips up over his back end. Revrod and Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Now that we're getting down to the faster cars, I suspect these collisions are going to happen more often. Aston Martin advances. Double Demon against the Lotus Esprit S1. Double Demon, that's another fantasy car advancing. Now we will move on to the right side. That's the BMW Z4M Motorsport against the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Another spectacular crash. BMW is out and the Lambo is in. Supervolt against the big truck, Turbine Time. Seventy-two Ford Gran Torino Sport against Fast Gassing. You know what's going on is Fast Gassing is just tipping over and falling out of the start gate. As you do the races, the cars push down on the slope, and it winds up pulling the finish line closer to the start gate, and it makes the slope steeper. Earlier, when I moved the splitter on the 2005 Mustang, maybe I should have left it in the up position so that that low splitter wouldn't drag in the slope of the downhill. Fast gassing is out of gas as the Ford Torino advances. The Chevy Silverado is up against HW Papa Wheelie. Advantage? What advantage? The Chevy Silverado advances. Eight racers are left in this tournament. We'll start with the left side again. Aston Martin against the Lambo. Another very tight race. Aston Martin has been eliminated. 
the Lamborghini Sesto Elemental advances. Come on, Bubba. We don't have all day. We got to finish up this tournament. Here's the next pair. Boom! The checker flag goes to Double Demon. Another spectacular crash. Now the right side matchup, Formulator in red against F1 Racer. Green. Hey, we got three green cars going to the final four. Supervolt has greenish windows, greenish wheels, and a little green on the side. Is it going to beat the 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport? Nope. Here's the final four. We're gonna find out the winner and we're gonna race them all against Roger Dodger. Coming up next, it's the semi-final Sesto Elemento vs F1 Racer. Two low profile cars battling it out and Sesto Elemento. We will see F1 Racer race again for third or fourth place. Plus he's gonna take on the Roger Dodger. 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport against Double Demon. Double Demon will race for third or fourth place up against F1 Racer. And the Ford Gran Torino is up against the Lambo. We have real cars battling it out for first and second place. But let's figure out who's third and fourth. F1 Racer gets the checkered flag and third place. I'm going to line them up over here. Double Demon gets fourth place. Not bad considering there were 32 contestants. Let's see who comes out on top. It's the Italian supercar versus American muscle. Except I think Italy wins anyways. Because Ford Torino. The Torino was named after the Italian city Turin. This race is for all the meatballs. Lamborghini Sesto Elemento comes out the champion. Now let's see how they all race against the Roger Dodger that came with the track set. Double Demon was fourth. Can it beat the Roger Dodger? Nope, not even close. Now we'll get F1 Racer. Let's reset the finish line. Oh, now you did it. Just kidding. It's easy, it just pops out, then you just gotta pop it back in. It's no problem. It can just be a little tricky trying to get it set up in place. Now Roger Dodger will take on the third place F1 Racer. Roger Dodger with another victory. Now Roger Dodger takes on the Gran Torino. On your mark, gets it. Wow, three in a row. Roger Dodger taking out the fourth, third, and second place finishers. But can Roger Dodger take out the champ Lamborghini Sesto Elemento? This will be the last race for today. Bad race, free race, need both cars going down the track. <laughs> the Lambo takes out the Roger Dodger. Well, Roger Dodger beat all four, but of course, uh, that was just bonus content. It was fun to add the Roger Dodger to the mix, but the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento is the champion. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.